the school should run. Okay? Now, who's, who should I be giving the closing statement to? Should I be giving it to the judge? Or should I be giving it to the other lawyers? JJ? Yeah. The other lawyers? I'm going to try to convince the other lawyers. Who gets to decide your case? Do you remember? Yeah? Karen? The jury. Right. The, ju the judge is like the umpire. The jury is the one who decides whether you win or lose. So, I like to give my closing statements to the jury. And so you guys get to be the jury. I'm going to ask the people on this side of the row to turn their chairs around so you guys can look like a jury box. Can you just turn your chairs around this side of the table around? Because this is what a jury box would look like. There would be 12 or sometimes 6 people in a jury. And you'll be making your arguments standing in front of them, looking at them. And i got to try to persuade you that I'm right. Okay? So you guys can be the jury. And afterwards, I'm going to ask you whether our side won or whether Amy's side won. Okay? I'm kidding. But I want you to be thinking about it in those terms. Okay? All right. The other thing I'm going to tell you beforehand is that a closing should have a theme. It should summarize the evidence. And it should tell you why this side should win. So afterwards, I want you to try to see if you can tell me what the theme is and if you can remember what the top two or three reasons why the defendant's side should win, okay? All right. Poor planning on my part. Do you remember the bathroom picture with all the graffiti on it? We're going to pretend that's our evidence. You heard testimony today that the school suspected that Andre Gaines was responsible for tagging with a purple sharpie in the school. And the question in your minds is not, did he do it? The question is not even whether it's kind of likely he did it. The question is whether the school had a reasonable suspicion that he might have done it. And that because of that reasonable suspicion, they were allowed to investigate to see whether he was the one who had the purple sharpie and was tagging at the school. The question is for you is, did they pick Andre as a random student, or were there facts that the principal Gordon had that allowed him to say, this person, Andre Gaines, could have been the guy who did this? And what we'll find from the evidence you've heard today was that the principal didn't pick Andre just out of random. There were three important reasons why Principal Gordon chose Andre Gaines. First, he fit the description of the person the vice principal had seen near a fresh tag. The second reason is he had an opportunity to be there, and we'll talk about how he was able to get down there at that time. And the third reason is he had a motive. And you heard that motive. His brother had recently been suspended for tagging. So let's talk about those three points. 